Hiya, this is Susie. Um, uh, an update, I guess, is what we're doing today. Uh, Rabbit's Pantry Tea House and Healing Center is closed today, officially. I'm moving back to my home office, and so I can write the book every, every guide has been telling me to write. I'm also taking a Magic 301 class. It'll be my third year, and I am learning to incorporate magic into my daily life. And this is at a different level than what I usually do, which is, you know, think happy thoughts, talk to my guide, stuff like that. This is more, I don't know, it seems like it's more active. So what I've done, I am sitting out at Langus Park waiting for, for my student to get out of running start classes. But I came here, I did my thing, I got, oh, I got my second level certificate in certified hypnotherapy, so I'm very excited about that. It's incorporating, it's reminding me that a lot of the things that I do intuitively in sessions are, are good, are valid. So I got that, so after I did that, got that certificate, I came out here to Langus Park and I'm sitting around in my car thinking, oh, what a beautiful place. And my guides told me very specifically, get out of the car and walk. So that's what I did. I walked over to the pier. I walked down to one of the shelters, to one of the, the buildings, and now I'm back. Now, for me, that means my legs have worked more than it usually does, and they're already at a high fatigue level. So this is me incorporating activity into my life and and looking at the magic around me. So I got to see the different colored moss and the trees and the grasses, and this is on a river, so I got to watch Mother Nature play poo sticks as a great big log went under the pier I was standing at. So my hope for us all is that with the changes that are going on, we are able to adapt and evolve and remember that we're all people and we all have hearts and to allow those hearts to play out, to be shown. There are some people whose hearts are hurting and while we're not, it's not our job to fix every single one of the people and that means we get to ignore our own hearts, but to show love and compassion and to, to enjoy it. Um, I did that this morning. I was in my car. I was trying to figure out where to put my mug. It has a handle on it, and to drive with it in small places is difficult. I managed to hang it from the water bottle holder on my left, and I was so proud of myself. I'm going, oh, I'm so clever, ha, 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 and I caught the eye of, I guess he was 12, of a 12-year-old kid, and he looked at me, and he started laughing, and I figured, that's good. I, I brought some goofiness to somebody else's life. Hopefully he'll remember it. Hopefully, I don't know. That's an ego thing. But um, yeah, I hope that all of us are able to find something to be joyous about, to have love about, especially about ourselves. Yeah, I think that's it for now. I'll talk at you later. Peace and love and healing to everyone. Bye.